Hey guys, take a look at the video for you guys. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to make your iCloud backup faster. So, you might be trying to back up your device and it's taking a long time. So, there's a couple things you can do yourself to actually help it be able to back up your iPhone faster on your iCloud. So, what do you need to do? Well, the very first thing is whenever you have this issue is that I recommend that doing any sort of iCloud backup, you're connected to a strong Wi-Fi cellular data works, but it's much slower. Wi-Fi is the best way to do it. And the other thing along with that is that you want your phone to be at least 50% or more charged. If not, during the backup time, if you can, plugged into a charger works even better because backup takes a lot of power and your phone to be powered up or connected to a power source makes the things a little bit easier for able to con consume the power it needs in order to do the backup so it doesn't have to kind of conserve your energy. Now, after you have, uh, you know, ensure that the other thing you want to do is in your photos, right? You want to review large photos and videos. What I mean by is that under here in the video section, you may notice that you have unnecessarily long videos. Those videos that are long usually are bigger in size and means they take longer to sync up to your iCloud account. So before you start the backup, I recommend is reviewing your videos and your photos as well and see if you can get rid of some of that. So you'll notice your much bigger improvement if you can go ahead and delete some videos, right? Delete it like this. And then after you delete it, you wanna go back under recently deleted, select all of that and just, you know, ensure that you can uh, delete everything here as well. And then you click on delete, delete from devices. And you'll notice here when you do iCloud backup again, it will improve your speed greatly. Along with that is if you're using Files app to store data like videos and photos as well, you want to also rec go ahead into your browser, into your Files app on your iPhone and look to see if you have files that are big or even iCloud Drive that you can delete and you notice an improvement in terms of the speed. So let's say I want to delete something like this, right? You can press and hold and then you can click on delete. And you'll notice again improvement or by just freeing up large videos, photos, and f apps in the files app itself. Now, after you have done that, the next thing to do is go into your actual setting and then your iCloud account here. And under iCloud, you're going to go ahead uh, to your iCloud backups here. And then you'll notice here if you're using your iCloud account for multiple devices. It's going to list them here. I recommend is that if you have a device that you don't want to back up, right? Maybe I don't want to back up a device here. You can turn off and delete from your iCloud if you have an older one or a device that doesn't need to because when you have multiple de devices backing up to your iCloud, right? It's going to take up your storage and again cause a lots of failures, slowness and just not be ideal. So you can go ahead and turn off just like that and then you can delete this if you like. Now be careful when you do this because of course you don't want to delete something that you need a backup of but as you can see here you can review that as well. Along with that here you want to also review right anything that's using your iCloud right here for example photos, iDrive. Sometimes you may not want certain apps here that you don't want to back up and it could be like maybe apps that just are on your phone and they have big data and then you don't want that data to be backed up right you can just turn it off but again be careful again what you do but i recommend is reviewing that list and you notice a big improvement also on backing up again and after you have done that uh, the very last thing you can do is considering upgrading to a bigger iCloud plan so if you go into your iCloud any iPhone will give you five gig of free iCloud storage but that might not be enough. So what you want to do is manage iCloud account storage. And you can also review all the apps, how much they're taking up. You can see here some of the apps. If you click on, you can delete the data if you don't need that data, right? This is a game data, so I don't need it on my iCloud. I can come and delete it here. And you can go through the list here. But more importantly, under change plan, if you consider getting maybe on a monthly basis, like 50 gig or even 200 gig, which is really ideal, right? It's only just under $3. It will now give you a lot more storage to be able to upload more content so you don't have to delete as much on your phone and you notice improve the speed because you have much more data that you can store in your iCloud. Of course, 
you do have to pay for it, but that's kind of the way iPhones are moving towards cloud storage. So I hope this video was helpful. If so, please make sure to like and subscribe button and let us know how you found this video helpful and any other ways that you found you're able to make your iCloud backup faster. Thanks for watching, guys. See you guys next time.